Friends of Gravity, in this video I show you how you can verticalize Hubelino, this Lego Duplo compatible marble run system with just one 3D printed part. Look at this guys, I verticalized Hubelino. I managed to attach a Hubelino course to a vertical surface so a marble can easily run down here. How does this work? I've always been a big fan of the Hubelino system. It's a Lego Duplo compatible marble run system. It's modular. It features those colorful, super nice, very sturdy tracks and they are 100% compatible with Lego Duplo. And so you can use your existing Lego Duplo blocks. That's super fun. But what always bothered me a little bit was to build up a large marble run, you also need a large supporting structure made from Lego Duplo or Hublino bricks. So to build up a tall marble run like this, you really need a lot, a lot of blocks. And that was one downside of the system so far. And it also takes a while. That made me think, how can I speed up Hublino? How can I make it easier to build up a large course? So I thought about this and I decided to design a part that makes it possible to build up Hublino vertically and attach it to a metal surface. So I came up with this part here. It has four studs that are 100% compatible with Lego Duplo and Hubelino. It features two magnets and attaches to any metallic surface. But let's start from the beginning. I am not a professional 3D designer or anything, so I sat down with a very, very basic online tool called Tinkercad that allows everyone to create 3D objects by combining the most basic geometrical shapes. And the first thing I did is I constructed a building block like this. I changed a couple of things to make it easier for the 3D printer to print, but basically I had this kind of block. And then from this block, I cut out this part here because for what I want to do to build this kind of holder. This is basically only dead weight. And I added two holes that fit the magnets. And then I printed the whole thing out on my 3D printers. And because I wanted to have a lot of those elements, I always printed several of them at once. These are very strong neodymium magnets. I will show those to you later. And once you put the magnets in, this is ready to go and you can really attach it to a surface and start building a marble run with this. And the good news for you is guys, if you like this piece, if you want to play around with this, I have uploaded this to Thingiverse. I put you the link down in the description. If you have a 3D printer, you can download the STL file, print this at home and all you need is some magnets and you're ready to go. You can print out these holders at home and check them out and try them out for yourself. This is what the things look like when they come off the 3D printer. You see here, I printed them this way. This was the bottom and this is the top. And because the printer cannot print in thin air, you need a support structure. This plastic here, that's basically not part of this object. It's a supporting structure that you have to remove. For those of you who are interested in 3D printing, I have some other 3D printing videos on this channel. You will notice this is tree support. This worked best for me. This is a way to print the support. And of course, once you get it out of the 3D printer, you have to remove those supports like this. And then you basically have the finished piece. I will do this with all of those parts now. Before you can attach this to anything, you would of course need magnets to go into those holes. And the magnets I use are these kind of magnets. They are neodymium magnets. I ordered them on Amazon. They are three millimeters by eight millimeters. And I think a hundred pack of them currently sets you back about 10 euros or so. You see there is some remnants of the supporting structure in these holes here. So I have to remove this with a little screwdriver before I can put the magnets in. Let's do that. But other than that, I designed these cavities here so the magnets can directly go in that without any need for glue or something like that. The magnets fit those cavities here really tightly. So I usually don't manage to do it with bare hands. I normally just put it on the table and apply a little bit of pressure. 
And there you go, the magnet is in there. You don't need any glue or anything. I'm gonna try again with the second one that's usually a little bit harder because the force of the first magnet will pull this one away. It's a little bit tricky, you get used to it. And there you go, this is the finished piece. This now can attach to metallic surfaces and we can start building with this. That's how easy it is. You just put a couple of tracks together using those connectors and then you can attach them to the whiteboard. And that's basically your first piece of track. Those corner pieces, they are of course suspended in mid-air right now, but the holders at the beginning and the end of this turn will be strong enough to hold them. This is how the turn looks close up. These two corner elements here are hanging in mid-air, but the holders are strong enough to keep the whole thing in place. And if you want to put a slope in there to reduce height, you of course need to prop up the track that leads into the slope. I do it like this. And the holders should be strong enough to even hold a 180 degree turn like this because these three millimeter neodymium magnets, they are really strong. And I will try to get back to the wall with this element here that I prefabricated. I will try and see if the marble can run through there. Like a charm. This works. And I will try to get one of those funnels in here as well. That's not so easy, but I'm sure there's a way. So I have set up this little element here and I will see if I can make that hold to the surface. These holders are really quite strong, so even though this is quite heavy, I think it should work. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, it works! This took 10 minutes now to set up this little course. If you want to build up a course that high just using the Hubelino supporting structures with building blocks, this is gonna take much longer. So this is really a way to speed up Hubelino and you don't need all those building blocks. All you need is a couple of building blocks to connect the pieces and the Hubelino tracks and these holder elements and you're good to go. Let's throw some marbles in. This was my very short video about this Lego Duplo and Hubelino compatible magnet holder that allows you to verticalize your Hubelino marble run and of course lots of other things. If you're interested in this object, check out the description below and click on the link to Thingiverse. There's the page for this object and you can download this free of charge and if you have a 3D printer, you can print it out at home or send this to some service company and have it printed for you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel and please remember what goes up must come down here at Gravity Bites.